Are video games art? This is a question that has occupied the mind of video game scholars like myself for generations. Video games primarily entertain, but they have within them story, visual, audio, and graphical elements that elevate them beyond mere entertainment and into the realm of art. In this series, we'll be taking a look at the many ways in which we can view video games as art. In this episode specifically, we'll be looking at some of the most gorgeous backdrops in fighting game levels. Welcome to Video Games as Art. This stage blows me away. Just take in all this gloriousness in for a second. It's like something out of Ghost in the Shell or Akira. It's like a still shot from a beautiful anime. In the foreground you are fighting in this degraded, dilapidated wasteland that seems to go on forever with rail tracks that are all beat up and puddles of water filling in the cracks. There is this rundown train lying all messed up like some relic of a bygone era. The buildings look run down with smashed windows and fallen through roofs. The whole place feels like somewhere that has been forgotten in the rush of progress, like it's been abandoned. And in the far background you have this pristine and shiny new futuristic cityscape which is sparkling like a beacon of progress, a place where everyone has moved to. I mean, just look at that city. There's a whole futuristic world in there and it's just a bunch of pixels and sprites. Take all of this stunning visual scenery and add an absolutely awesome music that sounds very similar to Sonic the Hedgehog stage City Crisis and you have quite possibly my favorite fighting game background. So far at least. Ready, go! Virtual Fighter 2 is an iconic fighting game, and this level embodies the spirit of the game in my opinion. The background is so open and vast, giving you a sense of scope, which matches the revolutionary style of the 3D character models. I love how the river moves, and you have this awesome scenery in the distance, which is somewhat relaxing and calming, yet at the same time a perfect backdrop for an epic battle to the death. When I think of Virtual Fighter, I think of this level, and even though it's dated, I think it's still striking. Heaven or hell, duel. When this level starts, it seems pretty generic. You're on a train, it's moving through a snowy forest. Nothing mind blowing. Then out of nowhere, it opens up into what is for me one of the most gorgeous levels ever put into a video game. I mean wow, just wow. The size and scope of this background boggles the mind. The backdrop of your fight is essentially an entire living city that's moving and flowing while you beat the crap out of your opponent. And to cap it all off you have the Eiffel Tower in the centre atop a massive jack-o'-lantern. Truly draw dropping stuff for me, with the bridges, rivers and towers, along with the birds flying overhead. I'd expect nothing less from a game as beautiful as Guilty Gear. Oh wow, what a gorgeous game. You could put most of the levels in this game into a list by itself 
and I'm sure many more Samurai Showdown levels will appear in future videos on this topic. One of my favourites which I want to include here is this absolute beauty. Look at how far these trees go back, it's endless. You have different layers of tree sprites moving separately just to get across how massive this forest is. And this is helped by the scaling effect where the camera moves in and out of the action. I also love how the atmosphere is added to by the snow on the ground. It is the perfect backdrop for this kind of sword battle. And as you battle, you actually cut through some of the trees, which then fall down, which is a nice little touch and adds to the sense of destruction you can inflict as you swing at each other. It feels mandatory to include a stage from Street Fighter 2, considering it's one of, if not the best fighting game ever made. This despite the fact that the stages in Street Fighter 2 are fairly lacklustre in my opinion. They are not bad, but there is just not much going on compared to a lot of other fighting games. For me there is one level that is an exception, and pretty awesome, and that's Guile's stage. Now I will admit that the main reason for this is that it has a freaking F-16 in the background. Military hardware always does it for me, and in this case the plane looks awesome and is equipped with all its bombs and missiles and is really detailed. It's so massive and in your face and it pretty much takes up the whole background, even though you can see stuff beyond it, which really gives a sense of depth and scope. I also love that all of Guile's Air Force buddies are gathered around, cheering him on, almost like he said to them, come and watch me kick some ass. For me, this level looks fantastic and complements Gar's character perfectly, and it's one of my favourites. Attack! Oh, this is such an overlooked game, and when I first played it, I came across this fantastic level where you fight on an operational train track. I love how your fight is literally stopping trains and the driver is loving the fight. He's so enthusiastic about your fight and if you look closely, the passengers also look like they're enjoying the fight, even though it's disturbing their trip. The moving trains, the enthusiastic crowd cheering you on, the cool blue color of the ground combined with the bright colors of the train and character sprites just give this level a very distinct look and feel. It pops more than most fighting game levels and has so much going on, it has its own character beyond what you are doing. At first, there doesn't seem to be anything especially great about this level. It's nice enough and it looks decent. However, when you enter the second round, things really heat up and the pressure mounts. Epic fights with rain can be added to the list of things I have a thing for. This rain effect looks incredible. The way it bounces off of all of the characters and objects at the level. And it adds a whole new dynamic to the fight. The falling rain creates a sense of urgency and desperation, which is added to by the epic music. It reminds me of the Neo Smith fight in the Matrix Revolutions and it really had an impact on me when I first played it. This level opens up like a Hong Kong martial arts movie with a shot of a plane flying over the city where you would do battle. If it's not abundantly clear yet, I have a thing for planes and cityscapes. As the camera moves down, we are greeted to an epic city filled with endless shop signs, people, trams and restaurants. The level of detail on display here is striking. The people are all reacting to the fight in their own way. The people on the tram are loving it almost as much as the people on the train in aggressors of dark combat. We have this father and son enthusiastically cheering along to the fight, demonstrating that bloody street fighting is a family sport. I love how when you crash into this restaurant and destroy it, the owner chef goes from mildly concerned to outright outrage 
and looks like he might get involved in the fight himself. SNK are known for fighting game backgrounds that change between rounds, and in this particular case, the change in lighting is what really does it for me. In the second round, the day has progressed and we are approaching sunset, and the whole lighting of the level has changed. It is now bathed in this glorious yellow saturation that looks incredible and enhances the details of the level even more. I absolutely love this level because you feel like you are in a Hong Kong B-movie and as someone who has lived and worked in Asia, it captures that look and feel perfectly. Every time I play this game, I'm stunned at how beautiful all the elements of it are. You can't mention video game art without talking about The Last Blade 2, because it is breathtaking. This level is one very good example among many others in the game. The shades of red representing the twilight are simply gorgeous and a good visual metaphor for the blood that you are about to spill in this fight. The grass blows wildly in the wind and insects buzz around your head as you fight. This level feels like something out of a samurai film and the beauty that can exist during moments of extreme violence. <laughs> Her graceful sword dance cuts through enemies. It's too late to beg for mercy. Here I come! We end with a very special game and a beautiful level. Initially, you see the brick walls and you think maybe you're fighting in a courtyard or something. Soon you realize that it is a courtyard but one that looks out onto a stunning sunset and epic mountains. You have a pink blossoming tree whose leaves float around and the moon is rising as well. It looks awesome and no matter which direction you look there is something visually interesting. This level creates an epic and cinematic backdrop and makes you feel you are battling to the death in one of the most beautiful places on earth. There are so many amazing fighting game backdrops out there that we barely scratched the surface. And we'll be back in part two, so if there's any specific fighting game backdrops you think I should cover, then please leave a comment. And in the meantime, check out some of my other videos. They're pretty awesome. And like, subscribe, and share. Remember, Horizons are new. Need you. Until next time.